for a minute here. Great, so from that child's pose, inhale back into your tabletop. Tuck the toes, engage the core. First drawing that chest towards the knees. And then slowly start to straighten your legs. Really settling into this downward dog. So pedaling through your feet, shifting your hips from side to side. And then again, if you start to feel that pressure growing in the wrists, Really pressing into the tops of the fingertips there to kind of alleviate that. Slowly start to walk your feet up to your hands, meeting at the front of your mat, and then we'll inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fall a little bit deeper. Those arms or those knees are really bent here. And then inhale, we'll reverse swan dive, coming all the way up. Exhale, the palms come through the center. And I know you can't see my head, but I'll just talk you through the, the hands. So standing at the front of your mat, we'll inhale the arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips flowing down. Bending your knees a little bit here so that your chest and your stomach can kind of come to rest on them. This will first alleviate some of the pressure in the lower back. Inhale, we'll lift halfway. Really engaging your core here. Exhale, fall deeper. Plant the hands and we'll step back into a plank. And now for this first plank, we'll all drop to our knees. Make sure that the, um, again, the wrists are in line just below the shoulders. And then as we exhale, squeezing those elbows along the sides of the body as we lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra here. So just pressing up a little bit through, lifting the chest, tucking the toes, sending yourself back into your child's pose. Resting in child's pose for a minute. <coughs> On your next inhalation, making your way back to tabletop and then back to downward dog. Pedaling through the feet and then stepping or jumping to float all the way back, your feet are meeting your hands. Uttanasana, our intense forward fold here. Inhale, we'll lift halfway. Exhale, fall deeper. And then inhale, reverse swan dive, coming all the way up to standing. We're at the front of our mat, palms drawing through the center. And then they open along the sides of the body, Tadasana, our mountain pose here. I'm gonna flow through that a couple more times and just going a little bit. I'll speed it up with um, the way that I'm doing it, but if you want to flow slower or faster, you can do as you please. And then, so the couple of different variations that we have in our first sun salutation, you can always drop your knees um, as you flow through that plank, because the most important thing is that we're working to squeeze the arm along the sides of the body instead of them splaying out, which will help protect both of those joints. And then always bending the knees if you need to in any forward fold. So standing at the front of your mat, Inhale, the arms sweep up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Luke, can you stop doing that? Exhale, fall deeper. Plant the hands, step back into your plank. Engaging the core, flowing through. Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step or float to the front of your mat. We'll lift halfway. Exhale, fall deeper. Inhale, reverse swan dive, sweeping all the way up. Palms through the center. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fall forward. Halfway lift. Fall deeper. Plant the hands, step back into your plank. Engage the core as you lower. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. And step or jump, the feet come to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall deeper. Inhale, reverse swan dive, the arms sweep up. And coming through the center. Great, from here, we're going to step our legs out pretty wide. 
So we're gonna drop into a squatting position. And so again, this is a good place if you have, um, if you feel like you need a little bit more support in this to grab something um, like a block, so maybe a stack of books or something. But standing here, just kind of lower yourself down and you can play around with this. Everyone's body's different, so maybe it's more comfortable if you are propped up on something like that. Um, our goal here is really to feel that nice open chest and then feeling that stretch along here. So, pressing the palms together to lift the chest. And then if you have really tight Achilles uh, tendons here, you can always roll the back of your mat as far forward as you need to, to then prop your heels on it, which will give you a little bit of extra support. There, so sinking down. On your next inhalation, we're gonna put that right arm out to the side and extend that left up to the ceiling. Breathing here. And then you have the option to bring that arm behind you. So coming into a bind, totally optional here. And then that right arm reaches in front of that right leg. Maybe the hands grasp, or maybe you grab for a strap or an old t-shirt or something that you can use just to kind of lengthen both of your arms so that the hands can pretend that they're touching. And then slowly, if you're in that bind, start to straighten your arms. If you're in this posture, just extending, lifting the chest. And exhale back through the center, planting the hands. And then we'll start to lift our hips up towards the ceiling as we kind of walk our legs out a little bit wider. Both of the toes are angled in. And maybe the knees are bent or maybe you're working to straighten the legs. Again, this is a good place if you have a block, you can lift yourself up a little bit more. Maybe you have a water bottle. And then again, planting that right hand in the center. Nice gentle twist here up to the ceiling with that left arm. Back through the center. And then up with the right arm. Back again through the center. Heel toe the feet and coming back into Malasana or squatting posture. Great. Then switching to the other side so that left arm will come um, just outside of that left foot, the right arm up towards the sky. Awesome. Option to stay here or option to come full into the bind. And again, a great place to add a little strap or something to lengthen your arms. One more breath here. And back through the center. Great, again, place those palms there. Heel toe your legs out just a little bit. And then we'll come into a little hanging position here. So we're in our wide angle forward fold. Totally okay to have those knees bent. We are working to straighten them to lift the hips up. But again, always more important to take that um, strain out of the lower back. And so bending the knees is the best way to do that. And we're just gonna hang here for a second. If you want your palms on the ground, if they're reaching there, that's a great alternative. Same with propping them up on something. And then very gently, you staying with your breath here so that you don't get lightheaded as you come up, tucking from the base of your spine and rolling all the way up to standing. Great, the palms are open. Perfect. Walk your feet towards the center once more. From here, <clears throat> we're going to move into, um, let's go into, yeah, let's go into Giridhasana, so our eagle posture here. We've warmed up every part of the body we need to do for that. So standing firmly, actually we're going to do a tree first. I'm going to tilt this. Sorry, this is my first time teaching with this. Maybe that's helpful, maybe not. Um, okay. So standing with the weight on your left foot, making a little kickstand with that right, and coming into our tree here. So working that right leg up, if this is what your tree looks like today, this is such a beautiful tree, you can stay here. If you feel it going up further, the only place that we're going to want to pass and skip on our leg is going to be that knee, because we don't want to put the force of that foot pressing in, because that's not the direction that that joint is supposed to bend. So you can use your hand to assist your foot all the way up. Staying here. 
Awesome. And then you also have the option to come to a half lotus in your tree posture. So just tucking here. But find really what feels good for you today. And then any position with the arms and with the hands. Any mudra of your pleasing. Here for two more breaths. Finding that stillness. Exhale to release the arms. Now engaging the core, find a little bend in that left knee as we turn the hips and the knees so that they're both facing forward. We'll gently extend that right leg up and then crossing it over your body, coming in to a twist here. So if this is where you feel like stopping, with un, your leg just crossed over, but your foot still pointing out to the side. If that's what works for your body today, that is so wonderful and please listen to that. If you feel like going a little bit further, you can start to wrap that right foot around. Keeping those hips square, if you start to feel a lot of tension, like a lot of pressure building in that knee, maybe it's time to release it. Extending the arms out to the sides and then crossing the left arm over the right, Maybe you give yourself a little hug here, or maybe you fully wrap those arms. To deepen the stretch, start to lift the elbows up. We're here for three more breaths. If you start to really be wavering and feeling that ankle joint kind of moving a lot, see if there's a larger muscle that you can engage, like your core or your glutes, to find that stability. One more breath. <clears throat> And exhale to unwind and release into Tadasana. Let's exhale to fall forward, forward fold. Grabbing the opposite elbows and swaying gently side to side. Next inhalation, halfway lift. Really find that length in the back. Exhale, fall deeper. And inhale to reverse swan dive all the way up. Palms draw through the center. Find Tadasana here. Maybe your feet are spread wide, maybe they're together. Planting that right foot on the mat, finding that stability in your core and starting to wait. make your way into your tree posture here. Again, maybe it's different on this side. If this is uncomfortable here, if you're noticing your balancing is starting to really sway, maybe you stay at the calf. Maybe you come up higher. And then get an option to go into that half lotus here. Great. Finding the position with your arms today that feels good. If you want to challenge yourself further with that balance, you can practice closing our eyes. Let's do two more breaths here. Gentle release. Staying with the weight on that right foot. Gentle bend in the right knee as we square both of the hips. The knee is also tracing forward. Extend that leg and crossing the left leg over the right. Again, maybe this is your posture today. Maybe you're hugging yourself here. Or maybe you're wrapping that foot around. There's no judgment on where you choose to be in this. Just listening to your own body. So our left leg is on top, which means our right arm will cross over. And maybe you reach for the shoulders. Maybe you come into that bind. To deepen the stretch along the back, lifting the elbows. Engaging the core here. And staying with that deeply rooted breath. Gently unwind the arms, release the leg. Come back into standing and exhale, we hinge forward. 
Great. Planting the hands on the floor, bending your knees however much you need to do that. And then gently we'll straighten one leg, bending the other leg deeper. Loosening up a bit here. And on your next inhalation, we're going to roll all the way back up to standing through every vertebrae, all the way up through the neck. Great. And then we're going to make our way into our chair posture here. So standing in Tadasana, we'll inhale to lift the arms up, sending those hips back. And if that's really intense, we can always bring the palms to the center. So sitting back as if you're sitting in a chair, and then just engaging the core here, we're gonna hold for three breaths. So feel that deep inhalation, still expanding in the lower belly. As you exhale, hear that breath, that Ujjayi breath as we breathe out. Two more, inhalation. Making sure that your knees aren't all the way over your toes. You can still see your toes here. One more, inhale. Feeling that heat build. As you exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Great, again, straightening one leg as you bend the other. And then roll all the way up through the spine. Back to standing, making your way to the front of your mat. As you inhale, lifting that right leg so that the thigh is parallel to the ground. And as you exhale, we're going to kick it back, send yourself into a high lunge here. So the left leg is forward and the right is back as we exhale, drawing the arms open into a cactus position. Great. Inhale, they reach up. Exhale, open. Feeling that nice long stretch around um, the front part of your right leg into that hip flexor. The palms will come through the center. And then we're going to twist to the left side. Core engaged here, nice. So staying lifted. So we come into this twist, exhale back through the center, lift the arms, and then they sweep down to the mat as we straighten that front leg and sink back into the right. Yeah, I don't know if you can see me, but kind of coming into a little rudder stretch here. Yeah, so both of the, just the feet on the floor, maybe your hands are propped up here, but nice stretch in that leg. And then inhale, back, coming into a standing position at the front of your mat. Great. Making your way once more into that chair. So inhale, the arms sweep up. The hips are sinking back. Arms are lifted. Great, two more breaths here, feeling that inhalation. And exhale, maybe you bring your palms here. Inhale. Full exhale. Inhalation. Exhale, one more. And then when you're ready, send yourself into a forward fold. Straightening one leg and then the other, maybe twisting, rocking side to side. And then gently again, rolling up through the base of that spine, all the way up to standing. Let's see. This time we engage the core to lift that left leg up. The left thigh is parallel to the mat. And then sending it back, kicking back, and making your way to your high lunge. This time feeling that stretch along the left part of your leg. Great. Maybe sinking a little bit deeper as we open the arms to the side, bending those elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale, they stretch up. Exhale, open. Palms come through the center, and then engage the core as we twist. Bring that left shoulder around. I'm gonna turn to the other side. So twisting here, great. You can always extend the arms too if that helps accentuate the twist. Palms back through the center. One more breath here. And square off to the front. Release the arms, they come down to the mat as we straighten that front leg, flexing that right heel, and maybe bending the left leg a little bit to sink that. One more breath here. Step forward into your forward fold, and gently rolling up through the spine. 
all the way up to standing. Great. How is everyone doing at this, this point in our practice? Are we doing good? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Awesome, so from there, let's see. Let's go again and dropping into that squat. So dropping down, and then I'm gonna tilt this forward a little bit, maybe that'll help. Um, we're gonna play around a little bit with Vakasana, so our crow posture here. Um, if you've done any arm balances before and you are really familiar with this and wanna just take off, please feel free to do so, but I'll kind of go through it slowly um, if that's helpful for you. So as we make our way, I'm gonna turn this, this way a little bit. Oh, that's a little angle. Um, we can start from our squat. We'll lift those heels off the ground a little bit. And then placing both of the palms onto the mat, about like your arms are about the width, like shoulder width apart, or your hands, excuse me. We'll start to lift the hips up a little bit as you kind of hinge forward and start to come into your balance here. So it's nice to just play around by just lifting one leg and then the other. Um, and again, finding that, like, that opposition between the force of the, the knee pressing in um, onto that tricep. So there are several, yeah, we can, here we'll play, I'll stop talking and we can play with that for a second. Great. There are several different variations of this. You can go from crow into a crane posture where your knees are tucked higher up. That's one I'm definitely still working on. Um, closer to the armpits and pressing down so that you're lifted even higher. But for now, just playing with that tuck there. I still point to gaze at. And then another thing that we can do if that posture is a little bit tricky is to take a block and put, or, or a book or whatever you have at home and put it behind you so that you can prop yourself, prop your feet up onto it so that you're just a little bit more lifted. And then just playing around, experimenting with that little bit of fear that comes from like, ah, I might fall on my face. Just lifting one leg and then the other and maybe eventually fully floating there. Great. If it's part of your practice, you can also go into a headstand from this position, but I don't think we have time to really fully we go over that today. So whenever you're ready to come down from that, we'll make our way into a seat. Extend those legs in front of you, coming into Dandasana. Our staff posture here. So already sitting with your back straight and those knees straight out in front of you is causing some strain. You can always just bend those knees. If your legs are straight, we'll flex the feet. Inhale, the arms come up. And then as we exhale, we'll start to hinge forward from the hips. If you start to feel a strain in the back, just bend those knees and lean forward from there. We're gonna be here for five breaths, starting to cool the body down. So finding a position where you, you're feeling that stretch, but that you're not in any actual discomfort. One more breath here. Inhale to come all the way up. We're gonna to turn to the center, coming into Genesis Asana. So the feet will first come to our little butterfly posture here from bound to angle pose. And then we'll extend that right leg out to the side. Again, totally okay if that knee is bent. We'll take that left foot and we'll place it against that right thigh. And the hips are still square facing the front here. I'm at a little bit of an angle, but taking that right hand as the left arm sweeps up and over, keeping that chest open so the hips and the shoulders are in line along the same plane here. So we reach over. Nice side body stretch along the left side here. Maybe you reach for those toes with that upper hand. Maybe you keep the hand a little bit wider out to the side. Wherever you are, 
Embracing that as you welcome this stretch. Keeping that left hip really grounded on the earth. Next inhalation, coming back up. Exhale as we twist, the right arm comes to the left knee as we look over the left shoulder. Exhale back through the center and twisting into the opposite direction. Back here. One more stretch on this side before you switch legs. So turning your hips this time so that they're square to that right foot in front of you. And then inhaling the arms up. And then exhaling that knee is angled at your chest. So finding that direction. And again, totally okay to bend that front leg if you need to. And if you don't feel a stretch there, you can always take a block or a book and just make your leg a little bit longer by reaching for that in front of you. So lots of different variations to meet your body wherever it is. Maybe dropping the forehead down. Two more breaths here. Perhaps you sink a little bit deeper into this posture, or maybe you recognize that you need to loosen it up and bend that leg a little bit. Wherever you are on your next inhalation, coming back up, bringing the feet to that Baddha Konasana bound angle pose, lifting through the chest and then exhaling forward. You have the option to here walk your arms out in front of you if you recline deeper into this. Allowing the breath to slow. Walking the hands back in. This time drawing that right foot to the left thigh as we extend the left leg out. Again, same, same ideas about bending that knee. From here, the hips are tracing forward as that leg is going out to the side. Inhale, sweeping that right arm up and over. You're reaching down, mindful of that chest staying open that we're not collapsing forward. And that that right hip, it's so tempting, it wants to pull off the ground, so really pressing it down. Inhale, lift back. Whew. These are always my favorite like side body stretches. They're really good to kind of stimulate um, your internal organs and kind of just shake everything up a little bit. Find a little bit of release in the lower back. From here, oh, actually we did some twisting. So turn over to the right side, your left hand comes to that right knee. Gentle twist here. Exhale through the center and over to the other side. And back through the center, this time squaring those hips to face that left foot. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, extend forward. And in whatever variation of this posture that you're in, try and release your neck. So if you're holding any tension as you hinge forward, bring your awareness to the back and then the first few vertebrae of your spine all the way up and to the crown of your head. And is there a way that you can use your breath to relax and release those muscles?
Stay for one more breath here. And inhale, we gently lift back up. Come again into our bound angle. Hinging forward just a little bit, loosening it up. And then we'll take our hands to our feet and start giving yourself a gentle little massage here. So maybe you're wiggling through your toes. Just taking one foot at a time. Kneading into the arch of that foot. And then taking that heel between um, your thumb and your fingers, working up through that Achilles tendon and into the calf. And switching over to the other foot, starting with the toes. Picking up, feeling all the different bones that come together in your foot. Very cool, a very cool part of the body for how much weight it can support and all of that stability through, um, through all of our balancing postures that all of your weight is centered on that foot, but by engaging other parts of the body, we can really alleviate some of that pressure and find a lot more stability. Great, up through the calf. Awesome. And release, just shaking out the legs a little bit here. Great. So coming once more into that tabletop pose here, we're going to inhale, extend that right leg back. And then as we exhale, draw it through, and come up into one more little gentle lunge here. We're just hinging a little bit forward. Great. Exhale into a runner's lunge. So extending that right leg. Last little hamstring stretch. And back through the center, switching the legs. So first into that low lunge. And into our hamstring stretch. Great. Now making your way and do you have the option to flow? Um, if you feel like just going all the way down onto your back, that's perfectly fine. If you feel like meeting here for a second in a little boat posture, Vasana extending the feet. So maybe you have this bent angle in your knees, or maybe, whoo, I can't do that right now. That's okay. Uh, maybe your legs are straight. Engaging the core. One more breath here. The palms come to the center. Inhale, twisting over to the right side. Exhale through the center, left side. And then using your inhalation, very gently lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. Awesome, hugging that right knee into the chest. And gentle little, little bit of movement here, loosening up the hip. And then with that left hand, We'll take that knee and draw it across the body. Maybe your right hand comes into a little cactus here. Releasing the lower back. One more breath. Back through the center once more, hugging it into the chest, and then drawing it in a couple big circles. So opening up that hip, maybe placing the left hand on the left hip to keep it down towards the earth. And then extend that right leg long, draw that left knee into the chest, couple little circles here, and then using the right hand to guide it across the body as we come into our sublime twist on the other side. Still using that deep breath.
Exhale, one more here. On your next breath, rolling onto your back. And then placing the right hand on the right hip as you move that left leg in some bigger circles. We'll hug both of the knees into the chest, rocking gently side to side. And then reaching up between the legs, maybe you grab your big toe, maybe you grab the insides or the outsides of your feet. And then pulling yourself gently down into a happy baby pose. Rocking gently side to side here. Maybe you extend one leg or extend the other. And once more, hug those knees into the chest. And then slowly start to release, extend your legs long. Reach the arms up above the body. Find a deep stretch here as you flex your feet and reach those fingertips further out behind your head. And then bring the arms along the sides and gently allow yourself to release. So coming into Shavasana here, the feet are spread a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. And the arms are along your sides with a little bit of space in between. The palms get facing up. And as you allow your breath to slow, perhaps you bring your left fingertips to that space between your, or between your eyebrows and just kind of massage your eyebrows out a little bit, releasing any, any tension held in your face. And with one final breath, send yourself in this deep relaxation. Gently, we'll start to bring some awareness back into the body by wiggling the fingers and toes. Be making some gentle circles with the ankles. Very slowly hugging the knees into the chest. Relaxing over to either your right or left side. The right side bringing more energy and the left more relaxation. That's due to the position of your heart. As you rest here for a moment, perhaps returning to the intention you set at the beginning of your practice. And just holding it here. Mm -hmm. 
When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things, who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief, I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting for their light. For I rest in the grace of the world, and I'm free. That was one of my favorite poems by Wendell Berry, The Peace of Wild Things. Taking one more full and nourishing breath here as you use your hands to prop yourself up into a seated position. Allowing the eyes to remain closed. On your next inhalation, we'll sweep those arms once more up and overhead. The palms come through the center, perhaps pausing a moment at your third eye. Honoring your intuition. Sending down, perhaps pausing at your lips, honoring all of the compassion that we can share with each other and with ourselves. Finally, the palms coming to heart center. Taking a deep breath in here. And exhale to let it go. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you all have such a beautiful day. Namaste. Okay. Cool, I'll stop recording. I can figure out how to do that.